guys, I'm back at it again looking all crazy and I'm coming to you guys with this Halo braid tutorial. So we're going to jump right into this. The first thing I'm going to do is just use my tail comb and part my hair in the middle. And then of course I'm going to go in and use my wide tooth comb and uh, comb out the rest of my hair. I know guys, my hair is not heat damaged. I like literally every time I choose to do a video for you guys, it's just after I was wearing my U-part wig. So of course we're going to go in with the Holy Grail favorite and I'm going to be using my Cantu edge control. Now I have um, nails on. So the little hack that I do is I use the top part of the, um, the top part of the tail comb and I dip it into the edge control and I use it to spread because it just makes life so much easier for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my bristle brush and kind of brush everything back and I'm brushing it into a low ponytail. After putting it into the low ponytail, I'm going to go ahead and um, put some more edge control on the hair that didn't lay down or didn't get into the ponytail. And then once that's done, I'm of course going to seal everything with my uh, Gorilla Snot Gel and my Pump It Up Spritz. And now, the Gorilla Snot Gel and the Pump It Up Spritz, like this technique, it happens to work for me. I believe it has the potential to work for everybody. But if it does not work for you and you have your favorite gel that works for you, like Eco Styler, definitely you go ahead and use that. Even if you don't like using the Cantu Edge Control, use whatever edge control makes you the most um, happy or the, like, the one that you're comfortable with using and spending your money on. It only makes the most sense. And so, um, like here I'm showing you and then I'm going to go ahead and use the Gorilla Snot. Um, before I use the Gorilla Snot, I was using a fine tooth comb just to smooth out all the lumps and bumps underneath the hair. And so yeah, like I was saying guys, like it's just the technique. Like I know for sure the Pump It Up Spritz, whether you like using the regular or the extreme, is going to hold the hair down. Or even if you want to use that got to be, um, that got to be glued, uh, Free spray that should work as well and so I'm just going in and just making sure that the swoop is like cohesive and I'm just gonna double scrunchie just to make sure my ponytail is tight and secure this is also optional. I just like to double scrunchie um, if I don't feel like my hair is tight and slick enough. But if you're good with just using one scrunchie, by all means, just use one. And then I'm just going to go ahead and braid down my puff. Oh my goodness. This was actually really difficult. It looked super easy in the video, but oh, my puff was just being unruly. And now, we're just going to wrap that into a bun. Secure everything with a black rubber band. Then we're going to slick our hair down with our satin scarf. And I'm going to sleep on this overnight. It is morning time. And now, I had literally just finished coming out the shower. That's why I have like a million things over my head. And this is the reality, guys. Sometimes when you shower and your hair is slick, the steam like activates the product in your hair a little bit and it can make it white and cakey. So I wanted to keep that to show you guys that all you have to do literally is rub it through. All I did was just go back over the areas that were white and cakey with a tail comb 
and I just combed it through. This, this it was just that the product was moist. So if you ever shower after um, setting your hair and you take off your head tie and you realize, oh my goodness, it's like white and residuey. Calm down, Houston. We do not have a problem. It will fade out. And so that was the braiding hair I used, and it was the Janet Collection Jumbo Braiding Hair in the 85 inches. The exact same braiding hair that I used for my French braid faux hawk updo, which I will link somewhere in the video and in the description box below. And I just really wanted to show you guys the package so this way that you guys can find it in your local beauty supply store. But of course, I will write the name in the description box again. No problem for you guys. And so I'm just going to keep it on that original elastic and secure that over my bun. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and do a long jumbo braid. But I'm going to do that after I brush out the ends to kind of taper them a little bit. Like, the hair is so long, I could barely fit it in the frame to show you guys. I'm showing you guys like how long the braid is like it's real Rapunzel hair but once you get to the end I'm gonna secure it with a little black rubber band and I'm gonna get my bobby pins and of course the bobby pins for this look not the prong pins and we're gonna start I just want to fluff out my braid a little bit so I'm just pulling at it just so this way it's wide and not super duper tight so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the base of that braid and I'm gonna use that to cover over that bun the kind of same way I started the French braid uh, faux hawk I'm gonna do that exact same method for the bun in the back here and that's just so people don't see the little bump in the back of my head and right now I'm kind of mapping out like how I want my halo braid to sit on my head and I'm trying to figure out okay what am I gonna do with the tail end um, you you guys will see in the end I just decided to just tuck it under um, but in the meantime, between time, I just wanted to hold the braid in place of where I wanted it to go and start bobby pinning. Because if I was to sit there and fidget with the, um, the tail end, like this hairstyle would take me all day. And so I'm kind of doing an under over method where I put bobby pins at the bottom and bobby pins at the top. And of course, just going ahead and fluffing out the braid as I get closer to the end because, of course, that's the smaller part of the braid. And so now that the tail end is left hanging, I'm literally just going to take it and tuck it under the top French braid. Tuck it and I'm gonna pin it down so this way everything doesn't look bulky on one side. And now with that little fluffy like flyaway piece, you could just cut that off, but I was just like, uh it's not that serious. Plus, I wanted to reuse this braiding here again, so I didn't want to cut the ends. And all I did was just tuck the loose bits under with the tail comb and bobby pin. And I'm just pulling up my braid so this way it's nice and fluffy. And there you have it, guys. The halo braid is done. A very quick, simple, easy look that you could wear anywhere. And I know all you guys are going to rock it with style and grace. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later in the next one. Bye.